Well, Leon, now to this. Uh, those new to Washington and those here for generations know stories of D.C.'s fabled U Street Corridor. And there's one woman who is now helping ensure that this area's rich history is remembered for all time. Were you able to walk to school? She interviews whenever she can, listening to the stories of Washington's legendary U Street Corridor at mid-century. It was a time of music and laughter and strife. And I saw a great need to do some um, oral histories because we didn't have any. The D.C. Public Library's Washingtoniana Room, where Kelly Davies is a special collections librarian, has more than one million photographs, maps, and newspapers about Washington. But there is nothing like hearing from those who were there. I just knew that that was important because it would be there for my children and my children's children. It was a time of momentous change, from segregation to the struggle for civil rights. James Bennett remembered the murder of 14-year-old Emmett Till. It was such a horrendous thing that parents were, in fact, clutching their kids. We understand the, the vulnerability you know, of, uh, of a person, you know, uh, of, of a black person. But it is a time, too, that is fondly remembered for the sense of community that was U Street, where African Americans gathered away from the discrimination that persisted. Basically everything that you couldn't do in other parts of the city, you could do on U Street. I had one person that I interviewed describe it as, when I got to U Street, I felt free. And as for U Street's fabled music scene. We just had a real good time. Duke Ellington and Marvin Gaye were D.C. natives, and so many others came through. You might see um, Billy Eckstein walking down U Street, or Paul Robeson. People were just electrified with who they, when they went to U Street who they might see. Navy says she and the library are getting a layered picture of what life on U Street was like. It was a different place then. Um, it's a thriving area now, but it's thriving in a different way. So the Washingtoniana Room at the Martin Luther King Library is open every day except Sunday for books and maps. And if you want to thumb through all the old, old photographs or community archives, appointments are available there. And we have to thank our producer, Donna, who's put so much work into that piece. And it just gives us such a great glimpse of the history yeah, of that area. Absolutely.